So after creating, after creating the entities layers, we're going to continue with the data access layers, okay? Or data access objects there. So we're gonna right click on this one, create. Um, the first thing for the data access is that we need to be able to work with the database. So I'm gonna right click on this one and going to click on Java class and we're gonna use SKR Util, SKR Utility. Because we need to work with the database. We need to work with the database, okay? That's why we're gonna create one place, one file, one utility to do everything with the, 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 the database. Then forget about the database thing, okay? So we create a class which is called SQL Utilities. Finish. In this SQL Utilities, in order to work with the database, we need to have at least three things. First one is a connection. Second one is to execute a, a, a normal query. A third one is to execute a select query. At least you're going to do three things. At least you're going to do three things for every of your database. So at least you need to provide these three functionalities. Or at least the two. Okay? For working, at least you need to have the two. Okay? So you need to execute your query. You need to execute your query. Let's say, enter a uh, inter big delete. Okay? Normal query, that, that return nothing. Or you need to execute the query which returns which returns a result set, let's say. Okay? Which return a result set. Okay? So so we gonna do what we're gonna do right now is we gonna do a private uh, connections. Okay, connection and remember to choose the Java or SQL connections for the JDBC, we're going to use JDBC. Okay. Private connections. Remember to use Java connections over here. Okay, gone. Then we're going to create the constructor. Okay. Constructor generate. Okay. All of them, it's, it's generated down here already. So, for this constructor, if con equal to nonce means we haven't created, okay, or con dot con dot is close, which means which means we we didn't create a connection yet. Whenever you create a new utility, you need to create a connection to work with the database, okay. And if the connection is no mean you haven't created, or or the connection is is close. Okay, if the connection is closed, okay, you're gonna create a new connection. So con equal to driver manager, driver manager dot get the connections. Okay, get the connections. In order to get the connection, you need to provide the URL, the username, and the password. Okay, so this one you need to provide the URL, the user, username. And the password. Okay, so we need to provide we need to provide string URL equal to what? We need to provide string username equal to sorry user equal to si string password equal to pass that we we, we have before. Okay, and for this one, for this error. We're gonna click on this one and surround the statement with try catch. Okay. Yeah. So in order to create the connection, we're going to do driver manager get connections URL user password. Okay. Okay. I'm just stop for a while for you to have a look at the code and add questions if possible. If there is. This one is a basic code for you to get connections. This one is basic code for you to get connections.
ok ok now uh, you try to see the code later on as well right now is just to get the idea of the flow what I'm, I'm doing ok so uh, whenever you create new utility you're gonna create new connections now you're gonna need to execute a normal query this one is without returning anything like 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 inputs, updates, delete queries. So you're gonna create a method public void execute. Okay, uh, you're gonna have a query over here, a command. Okay, you're gonna have a command over here. You have a command. In order to execute a command, you're gonna do a statement. Statement. Remember to choose SQL Java SQL statement, not Java beans or other statements. So STM equal to new, no sorry, not new, from the connection dot create the statements. Okay, from the connection dot create the statements. This one you're gonna surround the statement, surround the statement with try catch. Okay. Now when you create the statements already, when you create the statements already, execute the STM dot execute. Execute, not execute query. Okay, execute command. Done. We finish our uh, um, first uh, utility method. First utility method. So later on, you're going to just use it to work with all of your SQL command. Forget about connecting to database. Okay? Whatever command you would like to run, just put it to this method and it's going to execute for you. Then you can forget about uh, SQL connections. Talking about SQL connection, I forgot one step. I need to provide the URL to our database, but I didn't provide it. Okay. In order to get this URL, you're gonna go to our services. And it is this one. Okay, it is this one. It is JDBC DB then localhost this part, this database name. Just to make it better, you can right click on this one. Properties. Then you copy that connection string over here. Copy that connection string over here. Right click, copy. Just Control C to copy. If doesn't uh, have the right click one, Control C to copy. Okay, again, you can right click on this connections. Find that connections to your database. You can type again this one or right click properties. Then select from this one, not the username. From this one back. Okay, copies. Close. Control C to copy. Then the URL is here now. Okay, the URL is here now. You need to provide the URL to your database. Okay. So now we have uh, the execute method done. Now you have the execute method done. Similarly, besides executing the query like insert, update, delete, you need to add, uh, uh, execute other queries as well to select some data. Okay, this one. Okay, let's say we're gonna do public, and when you select, it's gonna return you a result set. It's gonna return a result set RS. Um, this one is execute query. Okay, and you're gonna do string commands, string command. Okay, then you're gonna create the statements, statements stm equal to conduct create statements and in this case in this case when you create the statements you need to have the uh, you need to provide that it is uh, let's say you need to provide let's just delete this one control you need to provide the you need to provide the result set type okay uh, Type scroll sensitive so that you can move back and forth in your result set. Why do you need to move back and forth in the, uh, inside your result set? Probably because you may need to use the result set to do something else later on. It's up to you. Okay? And you should use uh, um, the second one, which is the concurrency type. Okay? Uh, 
concurrency, concurrency type, you're gonna use concur updatable. Okay, concurrency type, you're gonna use concur updatable. So that you can, you put, possibly could, if you would like to, use the result set to update your data. Okay, so we gonna have um, result set dot um, type scroll sensitive. That result set dot concur updatable concur updatable so that you could move back and forth inside your result set to load or to process your data or you could um, 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 use the result set to update your data to the database if you would like to if you would like to okay if you would like to if you don't like to just load the data only then just create the statement like you created uh, uh, previously here so surround this statement with try catch. Then you're going to return statement dot execute query from the command dot. Okay, from the command dot. From the command. So again, to work with the database, the things that you need to do is just give them the command, and they run it for you. Okay, whatever command. Just keep it and they're gonna execute for you. Okay? They're gonna execute for you. Okay? And there are two types of command. The command that run and return nothing. And the second type is command that run and return the result set. So you create two utilities methods, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so now, next thing is that we should limit the numbers of connections. We should limit the number of connections, a live connection to our database. Okay, whenever you create a new utility objects, whenever you create a new utility objects from the, um, from the constructor over here, from the constructor over here, you create a new connect connection objects, con equal to, okay? So whenever we don't use this SQL utility objects anymore, you should delete or close this connection. Okay? You should close this connection if you don't use the, the, the SQL utility anymore. Again, you create a new object of SQL utility, you create new connections. Okay? So if you don't use SQL utility, you should destroy this connections or close this connections. Okay? Let me see what is up, uh, the arrows over here. Ah, oh, I should return. Ah, otherwise, here you should return nulls. If you have errors or also you should return nulls, okay? To, to, to remove the errors over there. Because we need to return a result set. So if you could execute everything, we return the result of execute query. Okay? Otherwise, we return nulls. And again, I was explaining, whenever you create a new SQL utility, you create a new connection topic. So if you don't use SQL utility anymore, you should close these connections. So when you do the constructor to create new, now we're going to right-click insert code, okay? And you're gonna choose overwriter methods. I'm gonna overwrite, I'm gonna overwrite the destructor. So when you destroy it, when you don't use the SQL utility object anymore, you should close connections. And when do you, you know, the constructor is to create new. The destructor is the method, you're gonna override the method finalize, okay? The method finalize, okay? This method finalize will be called when you discharge or when you not use SQL utility anymore, okay? So for this one, for this one, we're gonna try to, okay? Con dot close, okay. Con dot close, okay. Con dot close. Con dot close. We're gonna try to close, and and um, we are not gonna. Yeah, find it, find it. Okay. Con dot close. Con dot close. Let me see what it says. One. 
find it. Find it. Okay? Conduct close. So you try to close the connection. You try to close the connection if you don't use that utility anymore. Okay? So we just complete a very important steps. So in entities already, in data access object, we're gonna make use of one important class which helps us to work with the database. So right now you would like to run any kind of queries, just give them to either execute or execute query. Okay, execute or execute query from this utility. Okay. Later on we're gonna uh, create more down classes. Okay. Okay. More down classes. Let me just pause this video so because we uh, stopped at one important milestone already.